What's going on everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. Today we're with Jason Teets, Teets Designs, and we're talking the Firecraft series. Let's light it up. So Jason, first off, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I mean, absolutely incredible knife designer. I've been following your products since I started working here. And I appreciate that. The, the cool thing about it is I, I love, first off, I think everybody in, in the knife community loves hearing like the backstory and, and kind of where the inspiration comes from. Absolutely. But I love seeing your product because ergonomics are, are something that you obviously care a lot about and that goes a lot into your knife designs. Let's talk about, and let's start with the smallest in the series, the FC 3.5 first off. Yeah. Yeah, the 3.5, um, that that was our fixed blade EDC knife, right? So I wanted to come at with this from a perspective of what would I carry not only every day uh, doing, you know, the normal tasks, right? Cutting boxes, uh, tape, things like that, letters, but I also wanted it to perform outside of every day. Like, could I throw this on my pack and go hiking in Montana or go hunting in Michigan? You know, white-tailed deer kind of going to deal with it. So it's it's a little bit all encompassing without stepping outside of that package where I'm not going to carry this potentially in New York or something because it's right. a six inch blade or something crazy, you know? Um, also with the, the loop on the back, um, you know, it's, it's definitely not going for the crambit. Thing, right. right. Um, you can do that. It gives you the option, but the design intent, um, for me was if I'm out skinning a deer or processing an animal, um, and I am not done. Right. right? And I'm by a tree. I can hang that on a little broken branch. Yep. Continue doing. Wash my hands off. Grab my knife. I didn't have to put that back in the sheath with all that junk gunk on. It. Right. To, you know, it's so. Or, or if it's scout carry, which is the the main way it's set up, um, you can literally just reach back, grab that, pull it out. If it's up, I have a hiking backpack. Yep. So this is kind of the ultra light. We also have the paracord version if you want to go a little lighter. And I mount that right on my shoulder strap with the. Yeah. Put the guy down and just boom, you know, it's it's quick access. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, I mean, the, the ergonomics are, are, are chief and paramount in this. And it just, I mean, it works great. It's the perfect size for that. Um, and I like, so we were talking about Ben Peterson earlier. And yeah. he, goes, he goes with the fingertip test. If he can reach the, right. the tip of the blade with the fingertip, that's going to make it a great skinner. Exactly. Yeah, you got the control, right? There's, it's there. Keep your other hand out of the way. Yep. That's that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got all that control at the tip of your finger for that skin. And we got a little bit of a belly there so you can continue to do that. And it's not your traditional drop point. So you got a lot of strength out of the right. as well. So, Absolutely. Um, and coming from a, I'm an industrial designer. That's my background. Uh, uh, engineering, if that's what you want to call it. So, um, Ergonomics, like you said, are, are very paramount, right? Like, I have kind of sausage fingers. I'm, I'm not your average hand guy, <laughs> right. so it's not like I can just design it for myself and go, yep, it's good. Right. It's It's got to be 3D printing, processing, prototyping, and having a multitude of people test it and make sure. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect for every, but you want to capture that spec. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal is not going to pick that up <laughs> and be like, oh, that fits perfectly in my giant hands. Exactly. But for the most part, I mean, most people, and I have very average hands, most people, this is going to fit just right because, I mean, I have a little bit of extra room right there. Of course, you can put your pinky in the loop back there and use that yep. for like some extra security. I, I just think that's fantastic. And coming in at a great price point too. I mean, and I love the high vis. Um, yep. That's that's one of those things. So you're the reason why. Yeah. So we had to we had to order a bulk amount, right? It's, you can't just order enough for a few of them. So it was kind of like, well, let's put them on, let's put it on all sorts of stuff because the high vis to me is just so, it's unique, but it's also like my eyes aren't getting any better. Right. I don't know about yours, but <laughs> the we we started out with the OD green with the little strip of orange. And you can see that if you drop it, but this one, it's like, oh, there's my knife. Yeah. You know, and you're not and spending a half hour trying to find your knife. Exactly. I mean, you, you, we've got a lot of stuff out there that's a lot of natural colors. And like you said, if you drop that... You... Yeah, OD Green Micarta is my go-to, right? <laughs> that's gone. You drop it in yeah. the grass. You drop... 
Yep. And but that's why you put, like you said, the liners in this one. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, that's fantastic. And so the zombie green here, it's, that's what you, that's what we like to call it, right? Is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But no, that's that's fantastic, and I love that. Um, and I mean, that's going to be a great uh, backpack knife, like you said, a great car knife for me. I mean, yep. it, yeah. like for a go bag, I think that's perfect for like a go bag or a bug out bag or something like that because it comes with the ferro rod. rod yep that's, it's a good one too yeah uh, they throw sparks that's i mean that's fantastic i mean these are great survival they're great do it all knives and I, I think that's wonderful absolutely now getting into more of the i guess outdoorsy yep. type knives yep. um that's you've got our flagship right you've got that's, the fc5 here that's right that's that's where it all started so that was kind of the i have an idea for a knife or i have a concept I prototyped it out um and, and that's where it all started uh the five inch we have a four five and a seven yep. in that um yeah od green micarta orange liners s35 vn it's got the stainless bow drill divot and a great tumbled finish on all of our knives um, we also do white river has a custom shop as well so you can get you know a little, yeah. little outside of the box but that's that's my favorite yeah i mean th this one the weight on it feels perfect um, it fits in the hand really nicely. And one thing that you've thought of on this is how the blade actually comes down further than the handle. So it's going to be a great camp cooking knife. Exactly. Yeah. And it's kind of comes back to that, like, can this knife do two or three things really well? Yeah. And not, uh, you know, sacrifice. Exactly. Not yeah. Sacrifice in those areas. Uh, kind of the, what was it? The, the Rambo knife. Right, you know, yeah. The compass and, and do everything kind of kind of okay. Yeah, so uh, Multi-purpose. So, and then we got um, we got a nice chamfer up yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, so your thumb, you're not hitting any 90 degree sharp spots on the edge there, but then from that bow drill divot forward, it's all 90 degree. Yeah. So you can really hit that sparker and just rain. And I, I tell you what, that's one thing that I think is really cool, and you're the only one that does that. But I always know it's one of your designs. Yeah. Um, when I see that fire starter divot in the top of the blade right there, and I mean, the sheath on this one is fantastic. I love, um, the dangle sheath right there, mm -hmm. but it's also got all the holes where you could mount, you know, whatever kind of, uh, whatever kind of belt loop hook or whatever you would. Yeah. It can attach clip. to, it's spaced for Molly, uh, for, um, uh, tech locks, right? Sorry, tech locks. Uh, and pretty much on every direction. And then we also provide you with uh, a card in there to show you kind of how to mount it at different positions and stuff. Yeah. And then it's got engineered gussets and stuff. So your normal Kydex only has a certain strength, right? But if you right. engineer certain, all of a sudden that becomes very strong. Exactly. I mean, that's, I mean, again, you've thought of everything. And I also love the upgraded fire rod right there it's with the micarta handle. Match, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Now, the newest in your lineup. This, yeah, here you go. It's going to be the PKO, That's and right. I really dig this because, sure. me personally, I love a Scandi grind knife. Yep. And it's the first Scandi to the line. And you're also the reason why White River has Scandi grind knives now. That's correct. Yep. So this is uh, this is definitely new for them, um, but knocking out of the park in every aspect. Yeah. I've, I've had this thing out in the woods a just ridiculous amount of times, and it's just peeling back i love yeah. it even even compared to this i mean feather sticks are great but the scandi it's just it's a different type of yeah you know you're of bush crafting it's it helps a lot so we do still have the notch on there it's actually a little bit larger diameter right um and we're changing that kind of throughout the board where because not all ferro rods are the one we're providing right right there's larger ones longer ones etc so we're we're giving you a little bit more real estate on that but other than that it's OD Green Micarta, yeah. Orange Liners, right? S35 VN. And I mean, it, it just, it feels good in the hand. I love the design. It's very sleek and it's simple at the same time. Just absolutely fantastic. And again, with the versatility of the sheath, um, you can have it vertical carry. You can mount it scout carry. That's right. Like a lot of different ways you can actually mount this up and uh, have it work for you. Um, and that might actually be a video that we do sometime in the future. Uh, I kind of want to do a vertical carry versus scout carry and um, why one's better than the other one um, because what better way to get people talking and and get yeah, people upset online is <laughs> say this is the right way to this do is this the right way. <laughs> 
I mean, everybody's got an opinion, of that's course. Right. But that's why that like knives like this are so cool because you've built in the versatility to where you know people can have it their yeah, way. Make it, yeah, exactly. Change yeah. it how you want to change it. Now let's talk about this one's a little bit different, and this one's fairly new to us here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This is the Gasper Four, and we've got a couple of different versions of this. Let's talk about this one. Yeah, so the Gasper Four is from Rewild Gear. Um, they're like you said, they're they're a pretty new company. Uh, this is a knife that I designed for them. Um, and they're they're coming out with some awesome stuff, you know, bellows, very bushcraft oriented and kind of like the less is more mentality, which yeah. is right up right up my alley. You know, it's this has to do this, this and this, and it has to execute every single time. Right. Um, and that's what they're that's what they're after. Um, and there was you know the the diligence on that and the back and forth between them and myself was fantastic. It was like, nope, nope, we're gonna change this, nope, we're gonna change this. And it's like it didn't matter if it took seven eight nine three d prints of the handles to get it you know right dialed in as like that that's what it takes so that's what we did those are fantastic and i, I again i love the feel um it's it's got some uh it's got some extra room so that if you've got you know larger hands it's still going to fit in your hand really nicely um s35 vn on the blade steel got a decent belly on there and of course got the little cut out for that's the ferro rod, rod the out. signature move right there i love it um now you don't just design knives either. Correct. You you designed all kinds of EDC I, Yeah. I do. And you've got oh, something in your bit. pocket I that's do, yeah. really so, cool here. I've got, this is uh, my little bottle opener that I do. I don't know if you want to take that guy. It's called the Moby. Uh, this is actually one I did in a collaboration with JRW. Um, and yeah, that's titanium, brass inlay, some laser etching. Um, that and, is uh, super cool right there. Yeah. Hammer fist. Yep. Yeah. Break the window. Get out. And it's really just a concealed, like concealed, concealed carry. If anyone right. else looks at that, it's just, oh, that's a weird bottle. It's a bottle opener, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So that, and that's exactly what it, that was all about. And you've also got, so one thing that I really love, and folks, if you want to know more about some of the stuff that he, he has designed, uh, go to teatsdesigns.com. That's correct. Um, and you've got some of your stuff that you've designed, including the Omni Stove. The Omni Stove, yeah. And I really yeah, dig yeah. that design. I think that's really cool. No, I um, appreciate that. The Omni Stove, uh, yeah, portable fire pit grill, kind of goes both ways, uh, folds all down flat packs. It's, yeah, it's your flat packing hiking stove, right? right? Like absolutely. It's, it's just different. Yeah. There's nothing else like it on the market. So. That's cool. And so, in that vein, what have you got that you're, you've got in the works that you might be able to hint to us or give us some? Yeah, so actually, I have Blade Show Atlanta on my brain, right? So not only am I working on a bunch of these, um, I'll probably have some Omni stoves that I'm working on. But my big push this year is I want to have three to four new fixed blades on my table um, from Teats Design. You know, whether they end up going into a Firecraft lineup or something else down the road, potentially. But right now, that that's my goal. So. And so for updates on what you've got going, they can go to Teats Design? TeatsDesign.com. I have a kind of a designer's page on there of, of things that I've got going on, kind of a what's on the bench scenario. And uh, yeah, you can follow along with everything I've got going on. Heck yeah, that is awesome, dude. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate Folks. It. Talk to us in the comments down below. Let us know which one of Jason's designs is your favorite and what you want to see coming from Jason. Folks, as always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts like something Jason designs, then we carry it.